Hi, I'm Nick Rodriguez with the Squid Ink Service Team, and today we're going to talk about replacing the print engine on the Copilot Max printhead. So before you get started replacing your print engine, you're going to want to make sure you have the proper print engine replacement kit on hand. Now, what we're doing today is going to be a replacement for an oil-based print engine. So what we have here is the kit that comes with um, that, that comes for replacing. You have your print engine, comes in the box, a replacement gasket that we will see in a bit, and some spare ink tubing. Once you have your print engine replacement kit on hand, the next part, step to do is to actually start removing the covers. Um, you can get away with removing all the external screws with just the number one Phillips screwdriver. So what we're going to do is first remove the nozzle plate cover. One of the things that I would like to point out here is that there are some different size screws. So once you have all the screws taken off, you want to take care to go ahead and put them in a safe place as to not lose them. With the screws off, we can go ahead and remove our cover. Once we have the cover off, one thing I want to point out is the gasket here. This is where the replacement gasket would come in. We would go ahead and scrape this off of the stainless here. And you can use any kind of alcohol or cleaner to clean off the, the uh, remaining adhesive before you go ahead and install your new gasket. The idea is to keep this center orifice clear here so that the print engine has a clear path for print. With the nozzle cover out of the way, we'll go ahead and remove our side cover so we can get access to the internals of the print head. Again, here there are some different size screws, so we'll start with the two in the middle. Here. one here. Once we have those out of the way, we'll go ahead and flip it. And now we have a screw at the top corner here and one down here by the, um, by the purge line. These are two smaller sizes. So again, once you have these out, you'll want to put these in a safe place as to not lose them. Once we have the screws out of the way, we can go ahead and lift off the cover, revealing our internals. What we're going to be replacing today is the print engine. This is what you see here. You'll notice two screws that hold it in place there, as well as a uh, purge line and a line in for the ink coming from the manifold. We'll have to remove those and remove the screws to take the engine out. In order to remove our print engine, the first thing we're going to need to do is remove our tubing from the barbs here. You could take a little set of side cutters and just snip a chunk away from the barb here. Back, just like that. Once you have the line cut, you can go ahead and cut it flat here to reuse for the next print engine. Same thing goes for the ink line feed. We'll go ahead and snip. Away, and then we'll cut that flat so we have a smooth surface to work with. With the tubing cut, we're going to go ahead and remove our three screws holding in the chassis, which will allow us to gain access to the top screw here. So right here, we'll go ahead and use our number two Phillips and loosen up the chassis screws here. Now that we have our screws out of the way holding the chassis down, we're going to go ahead and take our number four Allen and loosen up the two screws here. We'll start with the bottom one, it's the easiest access. Go ahead and loosen that up. And get that out of the way. Next, we're going to need to just maneuver the chassis down slightly to gain access to the top 
screw. I'll loosen that up. I'll go ahead and take that one out. Now you will notice that there are some washers behind the screws. You'll want to replace those when you uh, install the new print engine. Behind the print engine here, you'll see a data cable. This needs to be removed in order for you to replace the, uh, the next print engine. So what you want to do is take the tabs on the side and push them in. That'll release the clasps. With that out of the way, our print engine is free. We'll now come out. Now that I've removed my old print engine, I can go ahead and take my new engine out of my box, unwrapped, and get that ready to install. One of the things I want to point out is to take real care not to damage the laminate in the front of the print engine. Any contact with the front of that print engine should be made with only the ultra abrasive free wipes that will come with the Copilot system. Um, anything else and it could damage your orifices and lead to uh, inconsistencies in print quality. So what we're going to want to do here before we go ahead and mount everything is actually reconnect our ink lines. Now what we'll notice is you'll see the purge line here. That purge line goes into the top. So we'll take our purge line and trying our best not to make contact, we're gonna go ahead and start working it up into those barbs. Once you get it past all the barbs like that, then we're pretty much good to go. We can go ahead and start the other side, which is what we'll do. The ink line coming from the manifold will connect to the bottom barb here. It may take some work, but you just basically have to wiggle it in until you get past all the barbs. Right about there. Next, we'll go ahead and mount our two screws here. Now, what you'll see here is that the top screw is gonna have a washer behind the print engine. So we'll go ahead and line that up first. Line up there, put our washer in place, and line it up like so. Go ahead and get that one started. that. Now we'll go down to the bottom mount and get this one started as well. To get it in, we'll go ahead and crank it just a little bit, tighten it down here, and we'll do the same with the top. The next step will be to install your data cable. So we'll go ahead and line that up, like so, and just push forward. And when you push forward from the back towards the print engine, these tabs will lock into place. Flat like this will indicate that you have a smooth connection. With the engine mounted, we'll go ahead and re-secure our screws holding the chassis down. step will be to go ahead and replace the cover. With our cover mounted here, we'll go ahead and put our two larger screws that we removed into the spaces on the side. Get them down nice and snug. Again, the two smaller screws will go one here and one in the back side. So we'll go ahead and mount those. And the last screw will go right here. Now 
Next we'll be mounting our faceplate cover and again you just want to be careful with any contact making on the print engine itself. Rest it in place and get your three smaller screws installed here. One on this side and then we'll flip it over. We'll go ahead and mount here. And here. With our three other screws installed, we'll go ahead and line up our bracket or our face plate cover and install our larger remaining screw here. And again, we just go until snug, like so. With your print engine replacement complete, you can go ahead and reinstall it on your line and commence the commissioning process. If you need guidance on how to complete the commissioning process, there is a video up on YouTube uh, where we cover exactly what to do when commissioning the Copilot Max printhead. Again, I'm Nick Rodriguez with the Squid Ink Service Team. I hope you found this video helpful. If you need more, you can find it on the web or on YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you next time.